Time to share poems for the billionth time. Hi. Hello. How's it going, everyone? I'm the Sonic Dave. Pink Fox in the house. Finally back for more. <laughs> it's been how long since the last time? Five, <laughs> six, seven, doki doki. So, Five. about a month and a half. Wow. Okay. Who should we show the poem to first for the third time? Not me. Now, have we already seen her response? Nope. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than the la your last one. But I can't really I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? See what? Uh well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take it as a win. Story of my life. <laughs> Okay. Do there that we go. to give you a little bit more space. My arm's kind of like wrapped, wrapped around you. Good job, hon. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey! What makes you... Wait. Maybe that wasn't a compliment. That was a compliment. <laughs> that wasn't. Uh, can you not read? I don't think they can read the what Pink Fox or Natsuki is saying. That's why <laughs> you're supposed to read it properly. Uh, <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. What experience? Your insanity. Actually, Natsuki's a really good writer. Non-canonly, at least. Well then, keep practicing and make, maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh, something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, or, <clears throat> come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Huh? You think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. Yeah, it makes sense. But you never really struck me as her type. Hey! 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 Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Uh, who doesn't? That's what I'm wondering. Who doesn't have a type? I mean, I do. I said doesn't, not do. Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead wood. Wow. Whoa, dark. Um, screw you. Ugh. That was a little unnecessary. Yeah. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. Kind of like Pooh Bear. <laughs> Who can name? What am I referencing? For those out there who know, what am I referencing? You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I should... I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. We've seen this before. Meh. Time to skip everything we've already seen. What I do best, after all, I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Don't Amy even. doesn't... Wait. Your message was that you don't like Amy because she likes spiders. Okay. Don't you see the passage? Yeah, I can concur with that. Like, conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think, not just feel... Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. Meh. Haven't seen that yet. Uh, what am I doing? Sayori. Sayori next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Get ready for you to read. Sayori is your voice. I'd be 
surprised if she didn't. I can't believe you're been hiding these from me. Why? Okay, 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 <laughs> Sayori. Don't worry, I'll give you more. I guess. Uh, oh, that's you. Huh? I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Sayori's turning me into a bobblehead. <laughs> Yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, I did it yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, I think. Did you? How many days has pink, this pink fox been active? I don't know. Since last year. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh? No way! Not even Natsuki? I mean, Natsuki's more like 50-50. Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. You basically just said that. Yep. <laughs> but I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's sweet. What? 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 <laughs> okay, Meg or Chris or Peter from Family Guy. Stop. Oh, that's you. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. I did that at the wrong speed. Oh well. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking! Sure. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about anything. I'm sure Sayori Pink Fox would love that. Okay. That's you. Okay, you know what? I guess that's the new dialogue for Sayori. Erase the eh -eh -eh. The new dialogue is let's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> In a very demonic voice, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah. I think Pink Fox heard me. Oh, boy. You didn't know. Okay. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. That's not really weird. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know if I understand. You stupid idiot. <sighs> you not realize that the poor girl's been falling for you since the day you met her. Uh, our character's too dumb to realize things like that. I've noticed. I always have to adjust the microphone. It's kind of dumb. <sighs> you never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? Stop being mean to the poor girl. I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> what? So I can't pat your head? No, and I have a bun on top. Okay, how about this? Okay. <laughs> Just don't pat the bun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a kid, you know. No, but you're adorable. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes! Okay. Hey, I was just reading that. <laughs> Maybe. So I already start fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Pink Fox. Yes. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Aww. Huh? What? Really? Because my answer would have been immediately a yes. That wouldn't have been a. Because. 
It wouldn't have even been a Y. That would have just been, yeah, here, have it. I'll make another copy. Or something like that. Well, it's the first time you've written something for me. Aww. <laughs> Sayori, you can... Hey. It's not hurting, don't worry. This this guy deserves that, okay? This guy's but you're a... not that guy. That's why I was doing that, because this guy's a freaking moron! Yeah, I don't see a moron do something. Not like that. You at least get signs and hints. This do idiot I? doesn't. Do I? <sighs> Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. <laughs> I broke my pencil. Oh, that's what that snap was. Never mind. <laughs> Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. But being inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. In what way? So sorry. Oh, poor Sayori. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her to support herself. Knees shaking. Uh, I'm a little clumsy today. Yeah. Uh, maybe a what... little clumsy every day, Sayori. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. Grab Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that. It's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Have we read this one already? Bottles? Just in case, bottles, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumbs and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy... Yeah, we have read this think. My tailbone hurts now. From sitting on me? Yep, from sitting on your butt. Well. She gonna be standing behind me, I guess, now. Or laying on your butt. Or that, too. I guess I'll be on my own now. Well, we tried. So, yeah, we've, we've read this. Holy crap. Yep, definitely read that. Okay. Show it to Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Well done, Pink Fox. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Huh? It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this. So don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poems to feel perfect. Okay. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Uh, if you say so. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. That's actually very good advice. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's a certain that's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have um well, an example of that. If you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. 
This we've definitely read. Yeah, so we have read the other. And time for skipping. Huh, that's funny. Didn't Nonsky also write something about that? Wait, what? I'm confused. About someone being ridicu ridiculed for a strange interest? Huh? She, she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. True. That is very true. She's... She's right. Whoa. Okay, never thought I'd hear Yuri say that about Natsuki. Uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Well, yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry. I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. And time to skip a bunch of stuff. And Monica's turn. Oh boy. Big Fox, you sure you don't want to come over here and do this? You're not going to like the outcome. Hi again, Pink Fox. Oh, actually it's the same dialogue. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two have are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? I'm surprised Karen hasn't popped out yet. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh. Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I, I, I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interested in p interesting people. I can't... S I can't English today for some reason. Are super interesting people. So don't be afraid to give them their share of time. Oh, don't worry. I already did. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, n no, it's nothing like that. <laughs> I I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. Like, oh my gosh, how dare you, Monica? This is just totally absurd. There she, there, there Karen is. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't mean it like that. Eh, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway. Uh, okay, time for skipping. Time for more skipping. Uh. For first, this actually bothers me. Just look at that. That, okay, you can't see Sayori's face. It's the only happy one. The rest of them look like that. Why? That's bothersome to me. Okay, well, anyway. Whatever. Wow. That's a lot of story that we've already read. Good grief. Um, I'm still going to walk home with you, Sayori. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Huh? Uh, Pink Fox, are you sure you don't want to do this voice? You're going to hate me doing it. It's Sayori. You hate it when I do her voice. Okay. Well, you're going to want to come over here if you want her. Here. So beautiful and smart. Oh, that's 
beautiful as far as you. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Dean Fox. Oh boy. You think about me too much sometimes. Oh boy. Here you would deserve it if she wanted to be wanted it so. Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Is somebody getting sleepy? Mm -hmm. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Conversation trails off. You might be done. I, there, she might not have anything else to say. Give me a sec. It's kind of a weird thing to, for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is... Yeah, that's it. You can go lay down again. Oh, God. It's definitely going to be Sayori this time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, man. Like, oh my gosh. I was late for the club meeting again. That's a good question. When is Monica not? Uh, wow. Time to skip all the dialogue that we've already read. Who should I show my poem to first? Sayori, please. Sayori? Uh. This is your best one, so. Then, you know what? Yup. No, Sayori, get over here. I'm not doing this voice. Every time I do, you get upset. This is the best one so far. I know. After this, I think that's it. It's really nice, Pink Fox. Uh, thanks. That was, uh, uh, by the way, it was one of those things. I get it. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. I wonder why I'm tired. Not you, that Sayori. I know. Is everything all right? Uh-huh. Of course. Everything is just peachy. Says the facial expression you have, Sayori. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. The irony in that. Oh my gosh, just let her sleep. Like, gosh dang it. Look at that tired face. Ah, Karen, shut up. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? Yes. <laughs> Sayori disagrees, apparently. No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? Just saying that's going to make me want to worry. No. I only want to, smi to see smiles from you on your face. Alright. Hey, Pink Fox. What? I'm so a little surprised. How? I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Nope. Or even Natsuki. Already happened. But in the end? Yeah. I guess you're the I one guess that who likes this you, one the yeah. most. I guess you're the one who likes yeah. this one the most. Yeah, that's, yeah. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Nope. Apparently not. Wait. Ugh. Then the dumbass goes and says something like this. That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. 
This is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. That goes for this one for me. <laughs> mm. Love well, you too. Sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm pretty sure at this point you can go lay down. I'm pretty sure she's just gonna rush out of the room. <laughs> I don't deserve this. At this point, it's like, what the hell, Sayori? Let my freaking fiance sleep. <laughs> You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sorry, has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so, so much easier. Introducing deep depression. Which I've been through. Both of us have. Introducing the reason this game says not for ki people, kids any under 15 and people who have that kind of stuff. Anxiety or depression, because yeah. it can trigger both. Yep. For those who don't know that by now. Sayori. So it hasn't triggered much for me. I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I probably s never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Pink Fox. It's just a little rain cloud. Little my ass! I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> That's you. I promise it won't happen again. Uh, don't don't worry about that. Anyway, she she's worried about noises in the background. You're this hor this psychological horror game that hasn't shown the psychological horror part is already jump scaring you. Stop it. No. Anyway. Just smiles from everyone, okay? <sighs> That's all that matters. That's not reality. <laughs> go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Oh no. Is this a day she? No. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well. Is this a before it? Yes. What happened to, I thought we I'll, I'll, No, 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 no. We haven't hit that part yet. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself, which means Pink Fox is going to the bed and crashing. <laughs> she doesn't like it when I do Sayori's voice, so I'm trying to spare her the pain. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> bad at it. <laughs> oh, shush! Yes, but I can hear you. Natsuki looks at him and goes, This one's alright. Alright? Oh, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, gross! Oh, ball. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in the, this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Okay, rude. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... Um... Um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. Hypothetical. No one ever actually does the hypothetical stuff, apparently. <laughs> it's kind of fun to hang out here. Even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Wait, was that... Did I say that wrong, was that? 
Oh, no. Yeah, that was right. Never mind. Oof. Not the best thing to say. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I was too. <laughs> what was that? How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds her palm out to me like nothing even happened. Oh, wait. That was different. Oh, shoot. That was different. I'm an idiot. Okay. The dummy I am. I'm going to save there. and We'll be back in just a moment. We're going to go check that out. Exit BBLC. Let's go check that out. Because I'm an idiot and I did the wrong thing. Wallpaper. Where's the palm? There's the new palm. Right there. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach, for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sun the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that your daydream that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me... If you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Damn. That was deep. Wait, what is this? Huh? Wait. I named my pen the Expression Express. My feelings... Aboard with a ticket to you. No room for stammers, no lies, no extra stops, no compromise. Stations screaming by, attendants saying hi. One ticket to you, please and thank you. Take a headphone and doze. No bumps in the rails, just thumps in my heart. Okay. And loops in my letters, and clouds in the sky, and dreams in your eyes. Hey, wake up. The train has arrived. Expression Express. Destination, you. Choo-choo. Okay. Weird. I get it, but weird. You rarely ever see me pull this up at another point in time, but... Yeah. Load game, and pick up where we left off. Sorry, Natsuki, I missed your poem. Time to skip. Or not. Felt like I, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a lot of wrong things today as far as the words go. Wrong word stuff today, all over the place. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy? 
Well, it's not like I care. You do. Stop lying, Natsuki. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice, yeah? That's a good way of looking at it. All right, here you're next. Well done, Pink Fox. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? I guess, sure. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sure, you are writing like this. It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. Wow, dude. But it's been fun getting to know you everyone and their writing and I guess doing some writing myself well have you learned anything about yourself Pink Fox? Huh? well you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself in the end it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer and even my opinions are just opinions you know as always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. <laughs> okay. Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. No, that is actually a really big compliment, Yuri. For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome? No. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. That's good criticism. That's not a bad thing, Yuri. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking. Oh. Being disliked. Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. New poem, Don't Skip. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface under a clear blue sky and expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. I can see that. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? By the way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. I turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Reach forward. And I return to Earth forevermore. That was definitely a really good 
variety of that type of poem. Hold on one sec, Yuri. I'm going to save there because I am fully aware that there is a special poem that we can go check out again. This is the most you guys are ever going to see me go in and out of this. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. There it is. Beach. Okay, we saw that already. Really? No secret poem? Oh, I'm shocked. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised by that. This game is not suitable for children, though. Yes, we are aware. And time for some skipping. Or not. I'm aware that the beach is... I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. Sh she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. She said the opposite about you, actually. She said it was your idea. Eh, whatever. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. Nope. Actually, no. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Alright. Monica, you're the last one. And I do plan on making, like I said last episode, because last episode was super short, I make, I plan on making this one a bit lengthy, just because of that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, so. No, not the poem. I mean... It's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. I'm not. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Sayori's been a little bit of off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Uh, well, Pink Fox, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, oh my gosh, how dare you assume that? Uh, 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 of course. Of course not. I I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I don't trust you. No, then again, I didn't trust you in the first place, so... I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway. Skip. Skip. Wait. Yeah, that... That poem must have been the same, because I'm skipping everything, so there's no way that poem was different. Ah, jeez. So, I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... Okay. Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. He! Do you really hate us that much? N no 
Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Okay. What happens if I pick Monica? Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me? Hold on a second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. But... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Pink Fox was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. Act like it. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? W what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Ah, oh, for the love of peace. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely False, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. You won't do as good a job if you make us work alone. Maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Oh. Um, uh. So, are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for Pink Fox to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Alright. It really doesn't matter. We picked both anyway, so at this point, skip. Let's just skip to the very end of all this. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Dancing while we're waiting. Wait, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, this is different. My anxiety should. Sh My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. Wow. Well, who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school? She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Bullshit! Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. That was different! Alright, time to skip. <sighs> yeah, so all this dialogue is about the same. Do, 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 time to dance again. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. We don't need to hear this stuff again. It's just like, ugh, totally the same. Like, literally, nothing's different. Nothing. Absolutely nothing here is different. There's literally only going to be one different thing, and that'll come up once... Gosh, really? We read through all of this within the time space of... Wow. I don't know how I feel about this. This is ridiculous. What the... Wow. This is... Wow. Wow. This is gonna be a large skip that I made. Whoa. Okay. No. Bad. Bad Yuri. Bad. Okay. We are back from the lengthy uh, little speedy speederson there. Duh. This time we're going to say I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. That is freaking impossible. Alright, actually... Yeah, uh, that's impossible. I was gonna add something else, but I'll add that. I'll, I'll talk about that at a later date. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone at the club 
making new friends and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Then I'll know we'll both be happy. Hey, Fox. Oh, that's me. Hey, Fox. So that's technically the only thing Sayuri said, right? Because if I have to do longer things, the outcome is going to be hated. By IRL Pay Fox. Suddenly, Sayuri wraps her arms tightly around me. Yes? Sorry, I'm here, I'll take Fox. <laughs> Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Pink Fox. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. <clears throat> I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust me. Aww. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So? I guess that makes the festival tomorrow. Our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Pink Fox. Ugh. Why? Yeah. IRL Pink Fox is going to hate me for that. <laughs> Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Oh, why? Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. That's why I want to trust you. That's interesting, actually. You know what's best for me. Yep, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me under things, plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh boy. Alright. Time to skip to the point where we left off last, which was where? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on... Br oh, so she's talking about something that Sayori told her. I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. And skipping. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. This is where we left off last. And we are going to save. And we'll finally move on in the story next time. Who am I kidding? No. We've got side stories as well. 
Oh, boy. Oh, frickin' boy. Well, first of all, save it there and save it here. Are you sure you want to overwrite? Yes. So that's where we'll be picking up the next time. Those dates are totally out of whack. I just realized this. Exit DDLC and return to desktop. Yes. But next time, we will be finishing up the side stories. Wait, there's a different... What's new here? Oh, this. Dang. So there are still five missing pictures. There's still a bit that can be... Wait, there's mail? We've got a lot to explore next time. But for right now, we're going to leave this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus here. Uh, we've got side stories and we've got mail now. Finally. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. Um, next time it'll probably just be me again because it's just side stories again. Maybe we'll try to include Pink Fox if she's not tired as hell again. But in the meantime, thanks again. Um, if you really like this video, though, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one we've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right-hand corner, try and take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, the one across my head will be the one you want to go to and try and take you there. In the meantime, though, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!